Hello and welcome to another episode of Road and Race. In this episode, I'm going to be doing some winter checks on my wife's two and a half year old VW Polo. It's the sixth generation one. Now this is a bit of a first for me because this is the new format of the show. In the effort to get more content out, some shows will be heavily produced as before and some like this will be not as heavily produced. So please give me your feedback in the comments on how you think this is going. So here's a list of things I'm gonna check on the car. I'm gonna check the tire tread, tire pressure. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can rotate the tires to even up tire wear. I'm gonna check the brake discs, brake pads. I'm gonna then go and look at all the fluid levels. So brake fluid, coolant, uh, screen wash, and engine oil. We get the car up on the lift, check the underside for any issues. And then finally, I'm gonna fit a new air filter. So talking about the air filter, I took this car in for a service with VW after two years for its first service and they changed engine oil, oil filter, pollen filter, and that's all they do. So I was very disappointed they didn't check the air, they didn't change the air filter. So because it's a 10 pound part and I feel two and a half years is probably long enough, I'm gonna change the air filter now. So having been used to cars that have air filters that are very, very quick and easy to change out, I was slightly surprised about how kind of fiddly VW make it? You have to remove a hose and then another hose and then a screw and then the whole kind of air box lifts out and then you gotta turn it upside down and take out about eight different screws. So not the easiest thing to do and it was a bit fiddly, but I suppose once you've done it once, it's not too bad. Here's the uh, existing air filter. Doesn't look too dirty really. It's, you know, it's kind of all right, but you know, I've got a new one and it's nice and clean. And here's them side by side. So it makes sense just to change it out now. So onto the tires. These are the Goodyear Efficient Grip tires that came with the car. I'm not sure how much tread depth they start with, but the fronts had, uh, after 19,000 miles, uh, 4.87 mil left and the rears 5.92. Seemed like quite good wear really, considering how many miles she's done. And they're fairly even front to back. VW do allow you to swap the wheels around to even up tire wear. So I did that. I moved the rear tires onto the front and the front tires onto the rear. I was talking about the tires. I went and checked the tire pressure and as expected, it was a little bit low probably because these were last pumped up in the summer. Things are colder now, so the pressures have dropped. It should be 2.5 bar at the front and they were 2.1, so just pumped it up with a compressor. Onto the pads and discs. Uh, the discs start off at 22 mil thick and I measured them and they were down to 21.86 mil. So that's really good wear as well, barely used. I think that's what, 10% wear after 19,000 miles, not too bad. The pads were also full of meat, really chunky, loads of life left in those as well. Onto the fluid levels then. So coolant level was okay. The coolant in this car is less than three years old, so it doesn't need changing now. Oil, that was okay. I mean, that was just changed six months ago, so you'd hope it'd still be fine. Brake fluid, I changed the fluid in this car myself uh, about six months ago, so that was fine. Uh, screen wash, screen wash is always low. You can top it up and then immediately it'll be low again. I think they've only got like a one liter tank for, for screen wash in here, it's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, I topped that up. Onto the underside of the car, whilst it was very exciting to get uh, the wife's car up on the lift for the first time, I was kind of underwhelmed at how boring the underside of the car is. It's uh, almost like a modern car, isn't it? It's uh, just all plastic, which is good, isn't it? It's good for rust and uh, maybe a bit of aero, you know, nice smooth aerodynamic surface underneath, but um, nothing really to report, unfortunately. <laughs> so finally, because this is a winter checks video, we should probably talk about winter tires. Now, summer tires are currently fitted to this car. And as I understand it, once the weather gets below seven degrees centigrade, that's when you'll notice a performance drop off with those summer tires. So at that stage, you should probably consider all season tires. Well, in an, all, in, an, in, an, in an ideal world, uh, if I had spare alloy wheels, I could fit all season tires and just quickly swap those out. But I don't really have the space and the amount of driving we do, I don't really think it's worth swapping those out. If you want to talk about winter tires, again, as I understand it, they're only good when it snows and it, 
very rarely snows around here and even if it does the roads are gritted anyway so very little need for me to think about any of those and that's it if you want to see more videos about simple how to's and repairs things like checking your coolant changing brake fluid things like that i've got a whole series where i do all that on my boxster don't get too worried even though it's on a boxster these are standard principles that affect all cars so that box up here and uh, if you like want to see me repairing and uh, restoring a bmw 5 series an e61 estate it's uh, that box there and as always thanks for watching